lots of people outside again today. Is it just the weather? Lots of people coming from Victoria too for some reason. And what's going on today? I guess it wasn't good news again with a continuation of drone strikes between Ukraine and Russia. How's this one? This one says, Moscow skyscraper hit by second drone attack in three days. A Moscow skyscraper housing government ministries was hit by a second drone attack within three days according to the Russian authorities. The strike which shattered the windows of the 40-story building is not thought to have caused any casualties or structural damage. Sergei Sobnini, the mayor of Moscow, said it hit the same tower that had been struck in an attack on Sunday. Is there a specific reason why this building in particular they're attacking? It says several drones were shot down by air defense systems while trying to fly to Moscow. One flew into the same tower in the city as last time. Mr. Sobyanin added that the attack damaged the facade on the 21st floor. Russian media later reported that it had broken 150 meters of glazing. Maybe it was trying to target somewhere else because it says the drone crashed into the building in Moscow's financial district after being electronically intercepted. The Russian defense ministry said, Two more drones were shot down by air defenses over the region. Moscow's international Bonakovo airport suspended flights amid the reported attacks but has since reopened. The Kremlin accused Ukraine of launching a terrorist attack against Russia. And apparently here they're kind of painting it as a September 11th type of attack like what happened in the US. Would you agree it's kind of within the same vein or completely different? And with that thought, I'm still kind of interested in what kind of drones were they actually using and for what I gather, it's these ones here called the Beaver. Like this poll says, Ukraine appears to have taken credit for the drone attacks in Moscow, which destroyed a secret Russian government office on the 10th floor of a skyscraper under the jurisdiction of Putin's Federal Protective Service. Meet Beaver, a drone with a range of 1,000 kilometers. Apparently, each one of these drones cost about $110,000. You're not going to mistake in this for, I guess, a quote, consumer quadcopter drone. Although for people to fly things like model planes and they build them, does this actually resemble anything that you've ever made yourself? Do you think people are going to start fearing that in general, saying it's one of these when they see it out there? But either way, two countries using drones non-stop, I guess, to bomb each other and all that. Will it ever end? Who knows? Although in lighter news, apparently they're going to make drone delivery a standard when it comes to, the, I guess, the postal service. This one says, UK's Royal Mail launches its first permanent postal drone delivery service. The Royal Mail said the use of electronic drones for intra-island delivery will bring significant safety improvements by ensuring postal workers can deliver between ports without risk. The world's first operational drone delivery service was launched in Reykjavik in 2017 with shoppers in the Icelandic capital able to receive food and other goods direct to their doors via an autonomous flying vehicle which providers say will significantly speed up delivery times. In 2022, pharmacy retailer Boots has become the first community pharmacy in the UK to deliver prescription medicines by drone, shipping medicines from Thorny Island near Portsmouth to the Isle of Wight. So that's one place that's made it permanent, which was kind of expected in many ways. More places to come, I would imagine. Mostly it's just about things like red tape and all, although when it comes to things like safety and all that, how will this go in terms of if something goes wrong with the weather and all that? We'll just have to wait and see. And a little update on something that happened yesterday. I actually wanted to investigate it a little bit more, but apparently for whatever reason, the drone just fell out of the sky out of random. Now, fortunately, again, it's so close to me. It wasn't really that high. And I'm wondering what is going on? It basically lost its power, it seemed like. And then actually it was going in a diagonal afterwards, even though it was staying still initially. It hit a tree. I tried to locate where it was. The battery fell out. Fortunately, I found it. And I was looking at all the log records again to see what the heck happened. It's an open space and all that. You can see in that map, it's basically staying in one spot for the most part. And the power seems okay, the battery. The only indication in terms of anything funny happening from these logs is how you can see for things like the connection, all of a sudden, it just went from 100 to 50 and then zero. And then just like that, something happened. I don't know. Again, it wasn't that complicated. I just went up, did some pans, and then all of a sudden, this thing just falls. So I don't know, but there has to be something about the power of the drone, in my opinion, for whatever reason. Something getting loose or something like that? Because in general, it can't be a user error. It can't be interference in terms of 
the signal is in an open area and all that. And if there was, let's just say, a signal interference with the controller or something like that, technically the drone should just hover and return to home, which would have been just to land, for example, where I was. But that's why I've been actually playing it really safe in terms of the drone ever since I replaced it and all that. I think at this rate, I pretty much have to potentially, if I want like a better quality drone anyways, to get like a new one later on, but yeah. But either way, I tested this drone out completely, in my opinion, from everything that I wanted to do for the most part, so at least that's good. I did fly it afterwards too, and it worked perfectly fine, so I don't know. There just seems to be some kind of flaw with the hardware, I would say. I'm just gonna do some brief testing and stuff today again too. Frogs or something? See you guys later.